A legal setback for former President Trump this morning. A federal judge has rejected his attempts to block the release of documents uh, related to the January 6th committee investigation. This decision comes just hours after the House panel issued new subpoenas. Allison Harris live at the White House with more on these developments. Allison, what more do we know about this case? Adrian, this is a blow to the former president. This is a federal judge refusing the former president's latest attempt to block the release of emails, call logs, video outtakes, uh, essentially sensitive records of what he was up to on January 6th to be released from the National Archives. The former president is trying to exert executive privilege. The current president, President Biden, has made it clear he's not going to allow that. This federal judge standing by that, essentially saying that constitutional oversight power prevail over former President Trump's desire for secrecy in the Oval Office, saying presidents are not kings and this plaintiff is not president. The House Select Committee has already interviewed 150 people about the deadly Capitol riot on January 6th. The list is growing. Ten more former Trump officials being called to testify, including former Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany and Senior Advisor to the President Stephen Miller. The new subpoena list includes the former president's personal assistant who, according to the committee, was in the Oval Office that morning when then-President Trump was on the phone with VP Pence, pressuring him not to certify the election results. It's still unclear which of the former president's aides and allies are cooperating. Trump advisor Steve Bannon has made it clear he's not complying. The attorney general has yet to say whether the Justice Department will prosecute him. Former President Trump saying the committee should not be investigating what he calls a protest at the Capitol, but instead the election he still claims was stolen from him, even though there's no evidence of widespread election fraud. Vice chair of the committee and one of two Republicans on the committee, Liz Cheney, continued her fierce criticism of Mr. Trump and his allies Tuesday night, saying Trump is at war with the U.S. Constitution. A former president who's attempting to unravel the foundations of our constitutional republic, aided by political leaders who have made themselves willing hostages to this dangerous and irrational man. Aiding a former president who is at war with the rule of law and the constitution. And we could expect these legal battles to continue. This could possibly head to the Supreme Court. A statement from a Trump spokesperson says in part that the former president remains committed to defending the Constitution as well as the office of the presidency. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.